With an annual export turnover of over 1 billion US dollars, Vietnam is currently the largest exporter of Robusta coffee worldwide. As you know, Vietnam is the world's largest Robusta producing country. In the central highlands of Vietnam, Dac Lac is the largest Robusta producing province. Currently, Vietnam's coffee area covers more than 500,000 hectares, of which Dac Lac's Robusta area is about 200,000 hectares. The coffee industry in Vietnam in general, and in Dac Lac in particular, has created employment for millions of laborers. However, coffee production is facing many issues. Uncontrolled use of water resources and excessive irrigation has led to a significant drop in the groundwater level. Water use has now emerged as a major concern in many coffee growing areas in Vietnam, exacerbated by climate change. Over the past 50 years, the average temperature in Vietnam has increased by 0.7 degrees, harming agriculture and threatening the future of the people in this fast growing economy. I've been living here since 1972. In the past, the weather was mild and harvesting results were good. In recent years, the weather has changed erratically. Irregular wind and rain, as well as lasting drought, have caused crop losses for farmers. Climate change occurred as clearly as daylight. Because of this, farmers here have suffered from many losses. Water consumption in the central highlands is distributed as follows. Industrial consumption accounts for only 0.1%. Household consumption for washing, cooking and drinking takes up a mere 3.6%, whereas coffee, rice and other agricultural crops are absorbing 96.3% of the water resources. Water shortages are becoming a regular event, affecting not only the farmers, but also the supply of water for household consumption, leading to rationing during the dry months. Dak Lak province, for example, faces severe groundwater depletion in dry years, and it's estimated that 71% of its total groundwater resources have already been exploited. Since water is a common resource, we're all accountable for its responsible use. The time is drawing near for coffee farmers to irrigate more efficiently, as they're responsible for at least 30% of agricultural water consumption in the central highlands. Robusta coffee in Vietnam, unlike other coffee-producing countries, requires three rounds of irrigation between January and April. Coffee farmers traditionally irrigate up to 1,000 litres per plant per round, thinking the more they irrigate, the higher the yield will be. However, recent research conducted by the Western Highlands Agriculture and Forestry Science Institute, the International Water Management Institute and EDE Consulting concludes that with 400 litres of water for each tree in each irrigation round, the farmer can ensure normal growth of the coffee trees and guarantee at least the same yield. Changing from traditional irrigation practices to the new recommendation will not reduce yields. In addition, the farmer will save drinking water and protect the environment. Farmers used to irrigate abundantly, filling the basin without thinking of saving water. However, after learning from the research, farmers have applied 400 litres of water per plant per irrigation round. Firstly, it reduced energy costs for farmers, and secondly, it saved labour costs, and thirdly, it protects water resources and the environment while it maintains yields and normal plant growth. If all coffee farmers followed this recommendation, we could save at least 50% of the fresh water, which would benefit the entire society. For example, more water could be allocated for household use, and this would also reduce the risk of water shortages for irrigating coffee during the dry season. Coffee producers can apply the following method to estimate water volumes for each irrigation round. 1. Use a watch and record the time to fill a barrel of, say, 200 litres. 
2, then multiply by 2 to have the time required for 400 litres. 3. Monitor the time required to irrigate one tree before moving on to the next one. Repeat this calibration whenever a new irrigation tube is added or removed, or when the engine power is altered. Water saving is promoted by the public and private sector in Vietnam. We've been implementing a program of sustainable coffee development to 2015 and vision to 2020. The experiment of applying 400 litres of water per plant per irrigation round has been implemented by EDE Consulting. This model has brought successful initial results. Collective action by the government, industry and the farmers will save water, protect the environment and additionally save costs in terms of labour and energy. Rational water use will safeguard the well-being of our next generation.